Hello there, hope you're all doing awesome, main man Sweet here, and today I will be explaining why Dragonov is such a strong character in Tekken 7. Uh, mo many times on my stream I've said that he's slightly overpowered, a lot of people are wondering why, why do you hold him to such high regard? What makes Dragonov so strong? So I'm gonna try and explain this now, but it all bottoms down to, or how, what, what, how does that expression go? It all comes down to Dragonov being an extremely all-around character. It's a bit like Devil Jin. There's nothing he really can't do, but to, but with Dragonov it's, it's to a higher extent than Devil Jin. Uh, Dragonov excels at pretty much everything, but mostly pressure. Uh, his signature move while running two, pretty much the best pressure move in the game. But I'm going to try and explain as we go, step by step, why Dragonov is just slightly stronger, in my opinion, than any other character in the game. And it's not a coincidence that most tournament players have a pocket or sub Dragonov. Um, so, first off, his signature move while running 2. Best pressure move in the game, in my opinion, if you can do it at point blank range. There's not really any other move like it, Kazumi's while running 2 is nowhere near as good, even though that's a good while running move. Um, this is plus 5, just insane pressure. And if you can do that, uh, just an insane move. Like, if they try to interrupt you in between that, you know, counter hit launch, you can do while running two into step, you know, and try to catch them with a down forward two if they try to attack you. Or you can just, yeah, do another one, or just wait and react, or down two. A fr I like to do throws there, uh, because his throw game is so strong. Uh, and while running two, sequencing them like I did there, it's not as hard as you think. A lot of people go like, oh, it's impossible! It's not. If you have decent execution and you practice it for a while, it's not that hard. Um, so, first off, while running 2 alone makes Dragonov a very strong character. Okay. So now, let's go further. I'm gonna reset. Uh, we have down 2. Down 2 on hit is 0. This means you and the opponent recover at the exact same time. So if you both do while standing 4 after air, he also recovers crouching. You are going to trade. So it's not like Devil Jin's down back to you know, who has a lot of plus range. Um, so you might say, well, that's not good. Well, it crushes a lot. Look how much he ducks as he does it. It crushes and, and it's super fast. And actually, it, uh, it tracks to both sides. This is almost a bit too good. I'm gonna demonstrate this. Sidewalk? Sidewalk to the other side. Okay. It hit him. It hit him. He stepped left, he stepped right. Insanely good move. And we, you can contrast this to back four, that's very linear. Back four doesn't track to any direction. So that's a contrast. Uh, and down two, if you crouch cancel, you can do this, you know, you can do it very, in very quick succession. Uh, and down two into step is very powerful. Uh, because most people afterwards, they like to duck jab while standing four. Uh, so just do down two, see what your opponent does, maybe do it again, whatever. These two moves alone that I've mentioned here make Dragonov a very strong character. Uh, so, while running two and down two, very good tools. Uh, so after this, you know how Feng Wei and some character have, have and some characters have great, you know, evasive attacks. Well, I present to you Dragonov's back one. This is a string back one two, but back one on its own is a safe mid poke with insane range. It's really good, and it does 14 damage, which which is which is pretty okay. And if you do the full thing, it's natural combo. It is minus 12, but you have great evasion. And afterwards you get that spin thing, you know, that large spins around like ah, and you can mix them up. So, back one two is a great evasive move. 
And you know how some characters have this huge panic move like Lily's Matterhorn that crushes a lot or Devil Team's up four. Well, Dragonov has an answer for this. He has a backswing blow that is mid and launches. It is launch punishable, but holy shit does it evade a lot and very quickly. So this is just another move that comes in, you know, and makes Dragonov's uh, tools just way stronger. And his combo damage is, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know why I'm fucking up the combo. Okay, there we go. 68 damage, uh, it's very good. And his wall travel is of course insane. Uh, not if you just do that, but you should probably add all of this. Uh, so Dragonov also does very well in combos. So, uh, so far we have the wild running 2, we have down 2, we have the, the evasive stuff, that's really good, and we have his combo damage. Okay, so already, whoa, this is a strong character, right? Well, let's keep going. Devil Jin has up forward 4, a knockdown mid that le gets, nets him a guaranteed back 4. Oh, that's strong. Well, I present Dragonov's safe, quick, up forward 4. Which is mid, of course, and low crushes. That gives a guarantee, down 4, 1, 3. And that can, of course, wall splat in turn to give even more damage. This move is insanely strong. And next to walls, you know, where it hits, uh, um, you know, uh, it knocks them down right at the wall's edge, you get a wall standing 4 into jab into combo. Uh, whoa, Dragonov is pretty strong. And then, of course, he has a quick down forward one, uh, which has pretty fucking decent range, uh, great move to have, uh, and he can even get a down forward, he can add a down forward one four to do this string. That's ca counter hit guaranteed, so natural combo on, on counter hit, and you can delay the four quite a lot to catch them off guard. So great stuff. Oh my god, he's strong. And then, he has a lot of really good strings. I mean, for example, 2-1, 10 frame, uh, natural combo, you can do 2-1-4, 2-1-3. 2-1-3. 2-1-3, that on counter hit next to walls, of course, is godlike. It's a natural combo counter hit. It's a good panic move, uh, 10 frames fast. Uh, he has back 4-3, which is a natural combo that walls fast. It's very fast, it's kind of hard to duck it. You, you need to... Uh, you need to anticipate it. There's no way you're gonna duck this on reaction. Uh, and he can mix it up with uh, a mid option afterwards. Uh, back 4-2. Uh, really good string. Back 4-2-1 is the best scrub killing string in the game. But you can even throw it out once in a while on a pro player who's not expecting it. But don't do it more than once. Or ra rather not do it at all, but sometimes it's, it's, it's good to use. Um, he has 1-1-3. One, one, which is a great enders, uh, round ender string. You know, you, you can do 1-1 one, one on its own, 1-1, one, one, uh, and you can even delay the last kick, uh, which is a mid uh, thrust kick, it's great. 3-1 uh, is a string I like. Uh, you can add 2 to catch people off guard. Uh, back to, back, uh, down back to 1 is mid-mid, great. You can add a last hit and hope it hits uh, for a juggle. Uh, it's really good. Uh, back 1 2, as I mentioned previously, is a super good string. Um, he has a lot of very viable strings. So, with everything I've mentioned so far, we have a pretty fucking decent package, don't we? He's good at a lot of stuff. Then, of course, nowadays, he has a fully launching Snake Edge. And his Snake Edge is faster than any other snake edge in the game, I think. And on counter hit, they buffed the damage. 55 damage, it didn't do nearly that damage in previous Tekken games. Uh, and of course, we used to get this in Tag 2, and now we get a full juggle. I'm sorry about that, guys. Yes. Uh, his snake edge is very, very strong. And then, you know in Tag 2, throws were, were very hard to break, you know, the default throws. 1 plus 3 or 2 plus 4. 
you had a, a much smaller break window and you had to press 1 for 1 plus 3 or 2 for 2 plus 4. It was very hard. It's much easier in Tekken 7 when you just press either button and the break window is bigger. With Dragonop, he actually keeps the Tag 2 system. This is forward 1 plus 4. You have to press with 1 and the tight, uh, it's a very tight break window. Forward 2 plus 3, you need to press 2. So he keeps this. And he has a 1 plus 2 throw that's very good. Huge damage, 45. And if they do a quick get up, he can catch them in their back with back 2 into a That's uh, So great Okiseme after that throw. And these together, in my opinion, result in the best throw game after King. So, oh shit, he's super good at throws as well. That must really help in tournaments. Well, it does. And, oh god, he must have, I mean, he's so good at the offense and all the backswing blow, the throws. He must have pretty crap punishment, right? Not really. Oh, any low in the game. Boom! While standing 1 plus 2. Wall splats, knockdown, big chunk of damage. Uh, while standing 4 for plus frames. Uh, while standing 1 free to wall splat at a distance, uh, that's 13 frames. And he has while standing 1 2 to mix that up. And uh, look at the counter hit uh, launch range of uh, oh, whilst the, lap, the second hit of while standing 1 2. I mean, just look at that. Sorry, thank you. Keep charge. That is ridiculous. Uh, and of course, he has a while, while standing 2. So great while standing punishment. And for standing punishment, 12 frames, 4-1 into big frame advantage. That's pretty good. And for 15 frames, down forward 2 uh, into uh, full juggle. Uh, I was trying to do a juggle there. Oh, I did it! I did a juggle! And um, his down forward 2, the range is ridiculous. He has a very long arm, Dragonal. And it launches uh, crouchers. Uh, it is minus 12, but for punishing, it's just an excellent move. And of course, for whiff punishment or... Oh, did you just block Paul's death fit? Forward 1 plus 2! Easy input and huge range. Uh, just a fantastic move. Uh, so his punishment is excellent. And you know how Kazuya has an electric? You, you probably do. Uh, this is Dragonov's version of the electric. Quarter circle forward one, so it's one out of quarter circle forward. Huge range on its own, but you can of course delay the slide in the quarter circle forward uh, to give this move insane range. On block, I think it's zero or minus one, so it's pretty good. Afterwards, it's good to step. They usually like to jab after this. And you can down for two if you see them do something. They twitch, whatever. Uh, or down for one, what uh, whatever. This is Dragonov's answer to the electric. It's high, pretty good on block. Uh, launches, of course, on normal hits. Um, so, yeah. Dragonov, awesome tool. And forward 1 plus 2 is, of course, the whip punished electric, basically, if they're not close enough for down forward 2. Um, and, I mean, oh god, does he need anything else after all the awesome tools we've covered? Dragonov has a slide. He also has a fucking slide. And this is a great tool to end rounds with, you know, if they've, they've got, like, the magic pixel, 1 HP, all you slide in. If it actually hits on counter hit, 40 damage uh, turns into a throw. Uh, awesome knockdown. That gives pretty decent Okiseme. So he has a slide. And if he wasn't complete enough, very, very few characters in this game have a proper counter. Dragonov is one of them. And I don't know why. Namco were like, well, I mean, he's, perf he's already perfect, so we can even make him more perfect. He has a proper counter. Uh, even Devil Jin lost his counter, uh, it turned into a power crush. Uh, but Dragonov, he still has his counter. Um, his ultimate tackle, uh, he has his own options. He doesn't do those shitty uh, uh, jabs. Uh, he has proper 1, 2, 1 plus 2 throw breaks from here. Uh, but do huge damage. Uh, just amazing options. Uh, just so good. 
He has an unbreakable throw that can only be ducked. Up forward 3 plus 4. Does pretty fucking decent damage. 36. Completely unbreakable. Um, and if someone tries to uh, uh, step dragon up, he has back 3. Which is a long range as you can see. Very long range homing move into very good frames. You see they spin around like that. Um, so even his homing move is really, really good. Um, and this is an awesome keep out move. If you can time uh, the back roll there. Uh, no, I am sorry, the tech roll. Uh, I'm trying to reset the stage, but I can't. But uh, yeah, so of course, a normal hit, it gives a juggle. It's a pretty good keep out tool, actually. You can stand very far away and, and launch with this. Okay, so this was me covering some of his tools, but I promise you that if I open his move list here and go through everything, we'll be able to find many, many moves that are very, very strong. Um, so everything I mentioned, all that stuff together, everything you saw there, and that was a lot of stuff, all of that together combined makes Dragonov just almost a per perfect tournament character. And just slightly, slightly stronger than everyone else. He just has everything, everything going for him. Uh, so I hope you found this video enlightening. Uh, I hope you enjoy my channel and I hope to see you soon again. Take care.